and the latest development humanitarian crisis sparked by the Israel-Hamas conflict and has gathered globally attention due to its widespread impact on civilians in the region. The ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas has caused a severe humanitarian crisis with many civilians, casualties and significant damage to infrastructure. Countries around the world, including India, have voiced their perspective on this issue at the United Nations and reflecting their concerns and position regarding the conflict and its humanitarian consequences. After the initial ceasefire, Hamas is designated as a terrorist organization by several countries and international bodies including the United Nations, the European Union, Canada and Israel among others. And the continuing humanitarian crisis due to the Israel and Hamas conflict is deeply concerning. At a United Nations meeting about the Middle East, India's Deputy Permanent Representative Ambassador R. Ravindra said India was one of the countries that strongly condemned the terrorist attack on Israel on October 7 last year. He was also referring to the deadly attack by Gaza-based Hamas militant in Israel and said we are very sad about the loss of civilians' lives in the fighting between Israel and Hamas. India has asked for the fighting to be reduced and stressed that the conflict should end peacefully and through talking and diplomacy. Well, India has consistently supported a solution where there are two separate countries like Palestinian and Israel. And they believe Palestinians should be its own independent and strong country and living next to Israel peacefully. Earlier, India has provided around the USD 120 million in developmental assistance to Palestinians over the year. And this includes USD 35 million given to the United Nations Relief and Work Agency for Palestinian refugees. Meanwhile, at the same time, a significant development regarding healthcare in Gaza, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu blocked a plan from his defense ministry to build a hospital in Israel for sick children from Gaza. Well, this decision showed that there were disagreements with Netanyahu's and government about how they were managing the war in Gaza, where many countries around the world criticized them for causing too many civilians' death. While Defense Minister Yoav Gallant recently announced that he ordered the construction of a temporary hospital in Israel and this hospital will be used to treat sick children from Gaza. Where further reports said that the hospital would be built near Israel's border with Gaza and it would help children disease like cancer and diabetes who could not get treatment in Gaza. But on Thursday, the Prime Minister's office suddenly announced that Netanyahu doesn't want a hospital for people from Gaza to build in Israel. Well, this version conveys the meaning in a simpler language that is focusing on the cancellation of the humanitarian plan due to political consideration. In conclusion, the Prime Minister Nathan's Yahoo decision to cancel the hospital project for Gaza children has caused questions and received global attention. And it shows how challenging it is to carry out humanitarian actions during continuing conflict. Stay tuned for the more information about the international affairs and do follow India.com.